So I figured with um, May 21st, 2011 being uh, Judgment Day, or the, um, the Rapture, this would be a good time to uh, check out some more uh, MREs, maybe uh, do a little review of one of them. Uh, in my uh, zombie apocalypse stockpile, just kidding, uh, although it's not really any joke, have you seen the um, CDC, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta? They've actually uh, put out something about the, um, the zombie apocalypse, so check that out. But um, I have two menu number six chicken with noodles. These both look pretty different. Uh, I'm not an expert on MREs, but I know they... Um, there's, there's quite a few different uh, styles, and I, I'm assuming that changes with time as they, uh, you know, uh, as the years go by, they just keep uh, changing the style of them. And even though these both look different, they're both from the same company. They both from, come from um, Sapatco. And uh, there's actually, as far as I know, there's three companies that make MREs. Sapaco, Americal, 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 and the Warnock Company. I could be mistaken, there might be more, but from what I've seen, there's, there's three of them. So when you, when you get them, you can find them in all different styles. There's, uh, actually, there's three different styles right here. MRE, MRE, and MRE. Um, one thing about these, from what I've seen, usually they have a, the date code stamped in the package. Of course, this is one that doesn't have one, um, but this one does. It's right here. 8324, and what that means is it was made in 2008, the 324th day. It's actually pretty easy to figure out once you once you learn what it is. Although I'm not exactly sure how they handle the fact that we're now in the 2010s. But uh, the reason I showed you that was because these two are a little different. They have the date codes stamped uh, or printed on them, pretty big. 7171, and this one I believe is 82 something, 9-1. I'm pretty sure it's an 8, but it could be a 6. I don't know. I'm hoping it's an 8, because I'm going to actually open this one, because this one's from 2007. So for the sake of rotating the stock, I'll get rid of the, the older one. So let's see what's inside this uh, menu number 6. Chicken with noodles. All right. Now I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, that means we uh, we somehow managed to survive the the judgment day and the the rapture. But I still think this is a good idea. Let me see if I can you know, peel this peelable seal. Yeah, I might have to cut this baby. We've got the hot beverage bag, chicken, noodles, vegetables, and sauce. And date code seventy one twenty eight. Some peanut M and M's, about five years old. Some plain cheese spread. A little bottle of Tabasco sauce outside of the accessory packet. Chocolate sports bar with chocolate coating. Keep the chocolate theme going. We've got cocoa beverage powder. Spoon, of course. Flameless ration heater with the ever-popular instruction to uh, have it inclined on a rock or something. Some of the crackers. 7163. And the accessory packet. This one would be an accessory packet A. 
7169 date code with all this stuff in it, including the instant coffee. So this is a, this is a complete meal right there. Should feed you for a little while. And as a look at everything, I'll spread out. So you can see how much stuff is in there. You get your main meal, your chicken with noodles. You get your cocoa beverage powder. And if you want to heat it up, you have your your hot beverage bag. You get your flameless ration heater for the for the chicken. You get two desserts, sports bar, and the M&Ms. You get a snack here, the crackers and the cheese spread, and the accessory packet, spoon, and the Tabasco sauce. All ready to go. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna actually heat this thing up. Chicken with noodles, vegetables, and sauce. Just get it, pull it out of the uh, out of the cardboard. You can see that. And I'm going to get this thing ready. Put it in the in the heater. Okay, we got the chicken with noodles in with the heater, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and heat this thing up. Put a little bit of water in here. Activate it. At least you can, you can already hear it. It not take too long. The steam's already coming out of you. So, um, you need to take this thing, just make sure it's the water's in there. Stuff it back into the box. It's up pretty quick. And then we're going to use these MRE boxes as a rock or something. I mean, these bags as a rock or something. So while the thing is heating up, I did want to take this opportunity to mention that MREs do uh, they do take a lot of ribbing for um, you know not being well for being terrible for you know being crappy or you know whatever. But for what their purpose is, they're, they're actually in a pretty amazing thing. And I was actually, I was in the Army back in the 80s when the MREs were still pretty new. And I have to say, they've come a long way since then. I, I thought they were a pretty cool thing back then, but they made a lot of improvements since then. The, the, taste, the, the quality and taste of the food has gone up a lot. Uh, there used to be quite a few um, things that were freeze-dried, uh, including beef patties and pork patties, which were pretty disgusting. You either had to put them in, put water in with them, uh, to reconstitute them or just eat them dry. And uh, we also had to eat most of ours back then cold. Uh, now, you, you know, it's, it's meant that you can just take it right out of the bag and eat it either way, cold or hot. But there really, in the field, there really wasn't a way to heat them unless you um, had a vehicle that you could put them in, like on the engine block or maybe just let them sit in the sun. But now they come with a flameless ration heater, which is a pretty, pretty amazing thing. Another uh, thing I think is pretty cool is these new bags for, the, for a, lot of the, a lot of the beverage powders come in. Uh, they have this little, little grip thing, and they also have a zip, a ziplock top thing here, so you can pour your water right in there, seal it up, and shake it right in the bag. And it's a lot less messy than you know pouring cocoa powder into your canteen cup, and mixing it all up. Um, and they also, like I mentioned, they do come a lot of, come with the, the uh, hot beverage bag, which is another good way to mix um, drinks, and it even has little handy. 6, 8, and 12 ounce measurements. Uh, you can mix your drinks in here if you don't want to make a mess in something else. And of course you can put your hot drinks, like your coffee, you can put them in here and stuff them right into there and you can have that hot too. We used to, everything was pretty much cold before. So um, we'll let that finish up, but I just wanted to mention that, that you know, the MREs really have come a long way in the last 20 years and they're constantly improving them. Alright, it's been about uh, 15 minutes, so I figure we'll uh, See what this chocolate sports bar, the chocolate coating looks like. Looks pretty good. And uh, I think we know what M&Ms look like, so I won't bother opening those. And let's get the uh, chicken with noodles out of here. It's definitely pretty, pretty hot. I think the steam's done now. There we go. Mix it up a little bit. There 
and a little slippery, but see if I can open it. Hmm. There's one problem with it when it comes out with all its steam on it. There it is. Chicken with noodles and vegetables. Yeah, it looks like I was wrong about the heater. It's still it's still heating. Can you hear that? Still letting out the steam. Alrighty. Is the chicken with noodles and vegetables. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's give this a taste. Some of the green bean there. And there's the noodles. And some other chicken. So I get a little bit of everything. Let's try this out. Mmm, it's pretty good. It kind of tastes like the uh, the old chicken a la king. Not too bad, though. I don't think I'm even going to add the Tabasco sauce. That. You know, I completely forgot that I also had uh, made up the uh, the cocoa beverage powder. And I said I'd have it cold instead of hot. Let's see how... I should put that in the fridge while the uh, chicken was heating up. So a little bit of this, too, to go with it. Cheers. Hope you uh, survive the rapture, judgment day, zombie apocalypse, and all that stuff. And hopefully we'll talk to you soon. See ya. Uh, although, it's not really any joke, have you seen the um, CDC, the... Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, they've actually uh, put out something about the um, zombie apocalypse. So, check that out. But, um, I have two menu number six chicken with noodles. These both look pretty different. Uh, I'm not an expert on MREs, but I know they, um, there's, there's quite a few different uh, styles, and I, I, I'm assuming that changes with time as they, uh, you know, uh, as the years go by, they just keep uh, changing the style of them. And even though these both look different, they're both from the same company. They both fr come from um, Sapatco. And, uh, there's actually, as far as I know, there's three companies that make MREs. Sapatco, that if you're watching this video, that means we, uh, we somehow managed to survive the, the Judgment Day and the, the Rapture. But I still think this is a good idea. Let me see if I can hmm, peel this peelable seal. Yeah, I might have to cut this baby. There it goes. All right. And here we go. Let's see what we got in here. Americal, 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 and the Warnock Company. I could be mistaken, it might be more, but from what I've seen, there's this three of them. So when you, when you get them, you can find them in all different styles. There's, uh, actually, there's three different styles right here. MRE, MRE, and MRE. Um, one thing about these 
from what I've seen, usually they have a, the date code stamped in the package. Of course, this is one that doesn't have one, um, but this one does. It's right here. 8324. And what that means is it was made in 2008, the 324th day. It's actually pretty easy to figure out once you once you learn what it is. Although I'm not exactly sure how they So I figured with um, May 21st, 2011 being uh, Judgment Day, or the um, the Rapture, this would be a good time to uh, check out some more uh, MREs, maybe uh, do a little review of one of them. Uh, in my uh, zombie apocalypse stockpile, just kidding, I handle the fact that we're now in the 2010s. But uh, the reason I showed you that was because these two are a little different. They have the date codes stamped uh, or printed on them, pretty big. 71, 71, and this one I believe is 8 to something, 9, 1. I'm pretty sure it's an 8, but it could be a 6. I don't know, I'm hoping it's an 8, because I'm going to actually open this one, because this one's from 2007. So for the sake of rotating the stock, I'll get rid of the, the older one. So let's see what's inside this uh, menu number 6. Chicken with noodles. Alright. Now I'm assuming.